baseball set to come your way from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Oakland A's and the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox baseball is next. Eduardo Rodriguez, Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Now with the plate is Tyler Ramirez, and we are set Leading for baseball the here this evening. The left fielder, number 31, Tyler Ramirez. First offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. First pitch, 640. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Round ball sent back up the middle. Gonzalez to his left. He's there. Oh, too late, and he's on with an infield single to open up the ball game. That is second. Hey, that's why this guy's in the leadoff hole. Grinder, battler, whatever you want to call him. He is not afraid to go deep in the count. He is not afraid to hit the two strikes that he showed him. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And the runner back safely. So Elvis Andres the next to bat as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Guys this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah Matty in this sport at this level you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players, he makes them earn their keep. Ramirez aboard here at first with nobody out. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And this is on the ground is short, could be two. Throw on the first and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. You will give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this done. Ball one to start the at bat. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, news flash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. 1-1. One, one. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on the first, two down. That is good. The second baseman. Vimael Mashi. So now into the box is Vimael Mashi, runner in scoring position with Sudan. 
first pitch of the A.B. on its way. And it just misses off the inside for ball one. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. That goes Martinez. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One left for Oakland. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. Sean Manaya gets the ball for Oakland in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's Leading a better off. pitcher than that ERA Red indicates. Sox. And that the brings in Xander hitter. Bogarts. Xander. They leave things off here in the bottom half Bogarts. of the first. Here's the pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. A swinging now, strike okay. and now it's 0-2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. This one's down to third. Chapman has it cleanly. And there's one away. Batting second. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get a chance to watch Xander Bogarts do his thing. He's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season. He's hitting over 300 against southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit this one. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He grounder down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Minaya has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense, and one of the keys. He's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Made pretty quick work of him right Batting there, third. setting him down on the left only fielder. four pitches. What I liked about all of those pitches was they were Dan. down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Here's J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. His career numbers against Manaya, just a one for nine. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hit hard on the ground to third. Well, on the ocean to take care of him the first, and that ends the inning. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Striding forward, Matt Chapman. And he's been swinging it well the, the last couple of games. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. First pitch on its way. All one. All one. 
and no strike. Here's the pitch. No Too high, Three balls. and it's no. 3 and 0. Oh. Matt Olson is on deck. And then misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up that a walk, but to do it on four the pitches is pretty alarming. Nah. He looks a little thrown off right, right now. Now at the plate, here is Matt Olson. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. As a look, now the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Oh and one count and the pitch. Mm, chased out of his own there and he's down two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Well somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Oh two is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Cutter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first down of the inning. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted that it nicely seven. down around the, the bottom of the zone. Mark and when you do that, Hannah. especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. So now it's Mark Hanna. He's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty that impressive, again. Matt. I really like the pitcher hitter. that trusts Steven. and works off his fastball. Right his there, study. he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. So look now the pitch. Well, count one and oh. The one and oh delivery. One and one. One and one. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's set, and the two one pitch. Fouled off. Chapman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this will get down and make his way to the monster for extra bases. Chapman blows through the stop sign, headed for home. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. The A's strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here is Rafael Devers. Leading and off. he's got that Warden batting lineup Redstone. near the 300 mark the entering baseman. the play. Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he popped him up. Chapman in foul ground. One down. Batting fifth. The catcher. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention at the guy who plays one of the premier positions in the game, and that's Elvis Andrews. Listen, when I watch this guy, I can't help but think Omar Vizquel. Came into the league, was all glove, and figuring it out at the plate, and has consistently gotten better offensively while never losing a step with the glove. Inside. Christian Vasquez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. His career numbers against Manaya. he's 2 for 4. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's the second out. Batting six, the right fielder, Hunter. Renfro. Next up for the Red Sox, Hunter Renfro. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Oh, Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. This is in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Outside, 3-0 and now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Here it comes, the 3-0. Rip down the first baseline. Well, the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. That as we look again at that bubble here, you can man. see that he was thinking My two goal. right out of the box. Yeah, Smashed man. it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. So here's Michael Chavis now. Nope. Oh. Started here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The average of 284 to begin play. Four home runs and 11 RBIs. Ready with the 1 0. Bottom of the second here with no score. Two now as that one's fouled off. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. So they can't make anything out of a two-out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Sean Murphy on the home away split.
Yeah. Let's tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ball and a strike. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. To two and two now. That's a surprising late swing on a heater, middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch. He gets the first down of the inning. Now back. So the Oakland lineup turns Tyler. over and to the plate, Tyler Ramirez. Now the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. 2-0 oh. oh the count to the A's left fielder. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. And he lost him here on four pitches. So a speed merchant is aboard now with one away. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. And now, Elvis Andrews grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at-bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. From the stretch. Hey. hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll too. Ramirez, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Andrus in an 0-2 hole here. Two takes, now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Brandon Jordan. So here is Brandon Jordan, who bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Come set, now the pitch. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Third inning, no score to this point. He tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. This one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Throw over to first. Back no, in standing. Didn't. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. There he goes, 
towards second. Pitch inside, inside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. And that's two free passes in the third now inning alone. So the you have to baseman. wonder if maybe it's something Email. mechanical or if it's just Must psychological. Be. Got to get back on track here. Stepping in once again is Vimael Mashi. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here's the first pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Two pitch. Now, well, fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is when you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. Here's the two and two. He stays alive, still two and two. Two men are on with two men out. to the left side but taken in out there it's short almost big trouble there but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired a couple of walks but no damage back with more here on a Tuesday night after this striding in for Boston keeping it in and you can see his home road splits the there baseman. he has not fared very well in front of the home Her crowd oddly enough First pitch on its way. This is on the ground over the first. He's got it. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting ninth. The shortstop. Marwin. Gonzalez. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. His career numbers against Manaya. He's got three base hits in 18 at bats. First offering. In there at the knees, strike one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. And he fights him off here to foul this one over toward the right side, and it'll remain 0 and 2. Try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Liner towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Number Work on two. his craft under the Designated tunnel. It's hitter. not easy to put the Sandra. time in, but bottom line is Logan. one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Clearly, he's been putting in that work, and it paid off right there. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. It's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. 
filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Runners on first with one down. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jordan is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, center fielder, Alex. So next to bat will be Alex Verdugo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Gonzalez is off of first with two away. A ball and a strike now. Here's the 1 1. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Set to deliver on two and Walter. one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Runner on first with two away. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hard ground ball to third. Chapman's got it. Throwing the dirt to first, and he can't come up with a clean one. Now batting, left fielder. Yeah, as we take another look at this, it's slow motion. Dead. You can see that the first baseman makes a great effort to scoop it out of the dirt. Almost had it, but it squirts out of the pocket, and the man's on board with a throwing error. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Oh. So take a look at the pitch. Too low, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Two down, runners at first and second. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set and the 2-1. Topper to short. Feel it cleanly. And the throw first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty. And the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Matt Chapman. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. And so watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. A 
ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And it's off the green monster. Uh, it's one of the beauties of playing in Fenway right there. Most no places, bad. that's a double or a home run. But Man. at Fenway, you're coming out of the box thinking, can I make it to second? Because if it caroms, and that left fielder feels it cleanly, you're dead to right. I mean, that's a heck of a job to hold on this. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One and no pitch on the way. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Ani gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint now than watching that, that high fastball, a high piece Mark of cheese, Cannon. swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. So now to the plate, Mark Canna. Oh, so he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed. Strike one. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Three and two to the A's center fielder. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. He loses him on ball four. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far. But now that after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fouled away. It's way the 0 2 pitch, and he fouls this one off. No runs, three hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Here it comes on nothing and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can get off that cage. The good luck of the man. Yeah. This is game time. No In at the plate is Sean Murphy as 
with two away. He'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Comes set, the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ready with the 2-1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and okay. bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Full count still. And he ball takes three. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. That's a big no-no. He Up obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not Tyler want to walk him to load the bases. Ramirez. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Tyler Ramirez, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Here's the first pitch. The swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Oh, one offering. Oh, Not good. close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Chapman, the runner at third. Kenna at second. Murphy at first. Two out in the inning. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. One run is scored. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. You know, D-Road, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big 2-RBI base hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Here's Elvis Andrus now as he takes a cold strike at the knees at zone one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way he'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Oh and one, here it comes. Fouled off. It fairly well out towards straightaway center. Verdugo waits on it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So it's two runs on two base hits. No errors. And a couple of men left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the A's two and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And stepping in the long ball. Leading off Rafael for the Red Sox. The third baseman. Rafael Dever. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Here's the pitch. Now battle, catcher, Christian Vasquez. Ready now is Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 50th pitch of the game on its way. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. 
Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. The right fielder. So two number gone 10. now here in the Red Sox fourth. Hunter. And that'll bring up outfielder Renfro. Hunter Renfro. And now pitch on the way. Wind up and the 0 1. Don't back down. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail it here, two to nothing. Your Marcus Walden please. is going to come on in now relief as he'll be Sox. making his 20th appearance Number 64. of the season. Marcus Walden. set for the start of the inning and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Brandon Jordan. Jordan. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. The 1-0 home. Offered at and missed for the first strike. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Rounded back up the middle. And that will get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on now it. Back. Hard single up to the middle. second base. Yeah, watch your lips right Email there, Dan. Sent it back oh, right there it came from. Into the box now. Vimael Mashi. And yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. Throw over, Reset. and the runner will get back standing. Jordan gets his lead at first, nobody out. Hey. A ball and a strike. Good speed at first, and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you got to get rid of it quick. One home. Right side, but it's well fouled. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels now off base. Third base. That's just what they did right Matt. there. Big strikeout, yeah. keep that guy off the base path. in Matt Chapman as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here yeah that's a good way of trying to control the running game Matt the problem with it though it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base off the plate one ball one strike runner at first here one man out 
strike two as that's taken on the outside part of the plate. Here comes the one two. It is taken for ball two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Runners on first with one down. Runners off for second. Got him swinging to throw. Skips in as he steals the bag easily. Don't know if that was a true now hit and run there the with two strikes base. or not, but he's nah. into second base safely Holy on the shit. strikeout. Two out, runner in scoring position at second, and that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. From the stretch, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball, one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that misses, two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the 2-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Just out in front of that one, still 2-2. Two and two. Slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Now the payoff pitch home, and it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Bouncer up the middle. Gonzalez is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Oakland as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitch to throw more strikes. Leading off okay, thank for you, the Red Sox, the first baseman, Michael Davis. First delivery to him. Michael Chavis is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Fouled away. The one one home. Oh. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Now the three and two pitch. Oh. 
And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher now back, continuing to base make man. a guy chase he out can. of the zone. When you recognize Her a hitter's in dead. protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. To the plate now, Kike Hernandez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. On could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at bats for this team right now. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Now at the plate, Marwin Gonzalez singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Easy oh, take down. there on the sinker, well off the outside. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Two nope. balls and a strike. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and the inning continues. The inning alive with a base Number. hit, but you can see that's two. only the third hit. He's hitter. given up the entire Denver. game, so he's still in total Blue control goal. out there. And now in the box, Sander Bogarts flew out last time up. Pitch on its way. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Gonzalez, runner at first with two gone. Right side. But he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, guys, now right there. Another two weaknesses. Can a guy come in? Can he command oh, it? Obviously not the case in this situation. He went to the well outside half three times. And eventually, he got Alex Verdugo digging in now. Oh. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Over two for him to this point. Now the 1 0. Bounce it to the left side. Andrews fields it clearly. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Boston strands a couple. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said that although they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, they have made the opposing pitching work really hard for just about every out. Their starter's pitch count was pretty high, which resulted in him being removed from the game prior to the sixth inning. Now it's a matter of making their bullpen work just as hard, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Mark 
Canna. First pitch on its way. And so watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 1 0. It's looked nope. at for ball number two. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. On the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Aye. Stephen Piscotti will be next. And a full count for Canna now. Three balls and two strikes. Full count. Three and two. Tough pitch to lay off what he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That was a great battle right there. He tried now to get him to chase, but he laid hitter. off some really Steven. tough pitches and got a walk. He's got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Digging in will be Steven Piscotti. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Strike one to start the at bat. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Count still at one and two. Sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Martinez. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And this really fooled him that time for the first down. Classic slider down and away from the strikeout there. Not now a whole lot to say about Petra. that pitch that hasn't Sean. been said a million times Murphy. already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protection. In now, Sean Murphy. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It was a walk in his last trip. Oh and one here it comes. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Runner at first here one man out. And he takes nope, ball two, and, and it's two and one. Ball Slider three. can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favor three and one. And it's ball. up to a three, three two, two full count now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. 
I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking at him. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Payoff pitch one more time. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. Well, his struggles continue. Now back. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with Tyler him. And watching this Ramirez. at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things Your and exploit leads. them. Matt Andrees takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Matt Andrees. Into the box, Tyler Ramirez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Now the 1 0. Popped him up. Vasquez is there. And that ends the inning. The A's strand one, but they hold a 2-0 lead. <laughs> Bottom of the sixth inning now. Coming forward, the Leading veteran off. outfielder, the J.D. Red Martinez. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. Reined in. And that's out number one. The third baseman, Rafael Dever. Here now is Rafael Devers. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. One out, nobody on. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Two once more. Count one and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some now guys are real good catcher. low ball hitters, but Rick more Jeff. often than not, keeping the ball down That's is going Jeff. to lead to a lot of success on the mound. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. He 
He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Base hitting the left field. Boy, D. Rowe, the pitch count keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And this is another yeah, example of they're the right really field. making this guy work Hunter. in this one. Yeah, that's the grind Renfro. right here. You put your hard hat on, you try and find a way to get into that boat. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. That's the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's one for two in this one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. On the stretch. Grounded is short. Andres has it. On the second for the force out, the side is retired. Red Sox lead one. They trail things here two to nothing. Ryan Brazier is on the pitch please. from the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. Number 70, Ryan Brazier. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward now is the, the shortstop, athletic. Elvis Andrews. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Now the first pitch. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Hey. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole. 0 and 2. Hey guys that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed. It's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Here it comes now to Andrus. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another 0-2 coming. Ball that ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. High in the air down the right field line. Renfro is there and he makes the catch for the out. Up next for Oakland, the right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Now to bat, Brandon Jordan. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no Brazier, a right hander who stands in even six feet. He was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy, drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's down to third. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Jeez, 
This looks like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every baseball. school kid knows that you've got to look it all Mushy. the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Vimael Mashi as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a move over to first, but the runners back easily. Jordan leads off first with one away. And another throw over. Dive, but he's back in there. Here comes the 1-0. Now no, no. it's 2-0. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. 3-0. Lifted down the line and left. Martinez coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next for Oakland, the third baseman. Matt Chapman. So the next to bat will be Matt Chapman. He sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Chapman swings, and this one's hit very well out to left. And it's gone into the monster seats. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Number 11 for him on the season. As the A's have opened it up even further, it's now four to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now that the first baseman. That'll bring up man. the power hitter, Matt Olson. He'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Another 0-2. Oh. Might have been looking to find that outside oh. corner, but he couldn't yeah. quite get it there. It's one and two. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only gonna go down from there. And it's fouled away. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now Every that, hitting coach in the, the league will tell you, it only takes Mark one swing of the bat Hannah. to get out of a slump. And maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it. But he's able to lace this thing off the wall. And he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. To the plate now, Mark Canna. And he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The 1 0 home. Hey! One ball, one break. Two out here and a runner at second. Maybe.
Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Fouled away. The next 3-2. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he fouls this one off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. A great throw from the outfield to cut down the run and end the inning. Certainly worth another look. We're back to Fenway after this. Into the box, Michael Chavis. Leading went down on strikes in his last at bat. The first baseman. Michael Chavis. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Falls behind 0 and 2. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, it could be something they have to think about. And another foul ball. Fouled off. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Softly hit the shoot. He's got it. Close to going first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for that number one. The batter, number five, second baseman, DK. One man is out on the red side, seventh. And that means the plug-and-play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. First pitch on its way. One out, nobody on. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning, so he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. The 0-2 once more. One ball. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. A stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Here's another one too. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so 
when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Uh, the only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. When you're this deep into a start, that can be really Sox. exhausting and annoying. That's short stop. When a hitter makes you work Far as hard way. as he did right there. He got the strike out, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. At the plate now, Marwin Gonzalez. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Kenna finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail here four to nothing. Darwin's in Hernandez will come out now and take the ball the here Sox. as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Darwin's in. Hernandez. Ready to begin the eighth and digging in is the veteran DA, Stephen Piscotti. Steven. He's got it. First delivery to him. Hernandez, just 24 years of age. He's in his third season as a major league player. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swing and he pops him up. Martinez coming on, and no one will get this one. The nothing in two pitch. One ball, two strikes. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? A one two. Misses for the second <laughs> ball. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Three balls and two strikes, a full count to the A's DH. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Payoff pitch home. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That's an excellent at bat right now there. Batting. Fell behind Catcher. early one and Sean two. Didn't panic Murphy. or start chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. Stepping in, Sean Murphy. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First offering. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Piscotti on at first. Nobody out. Ball two. Downstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Hey. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen of this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Now the 2-1 pitch. 
will not catch the zone ball three. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz Hall of Famer. He would always say even though the situation looked bad the pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. The three one swung on and missed a full count now. Hey if he's going to get swings and misses that falls up and out of the zone he's going to continue to go there. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, when you go with a the slider there and a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. So next to hit is Tyler Ramirez. So far, two for three in this one. Now the first pitch taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. None out runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. Here it comes, 0-2. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. Opposite field to left. Oh, and it keeps him up a bit. No sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now. Oh, There's still nobody out. Oh, good. Hey, Dero, oh, not good. a bad night. Three singles, but hey, he'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, today's day and age, the only thing's a home or a walk or a strikeout. It's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Stepping in now, Elvis Andrews. Yank just foul. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam though. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. And she'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. This is again 2 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. 2 and 1. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. High in the air down the right field line. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Play at the plate, and he oh, A great throw. Tried to test the arm that time, but he was having none of it. A great throw to end the frame. 
Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. J.B. Wendelkin is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the Number eight. 57, J.B. Wendelkin. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and the plate. Xander Bogarts. Lifetime the versus his hitter. arm. Not a big sample Xander. size. 0 for 1. Bogarts. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Fouled away. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Hit in the air down the right field line. Jordan is there, and he'll bring this one in. That's and there are the final Number numbers 99. for the Oakland starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Matty V, what a nice performance in this one. Seven shutout innings watching from the dugout now. Hard to believe that he could pitch any better than he did through the first seven innings. Into the box, Alex Verdugo. Oh, and the there. first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Wendelkin, a six foot one inch right hander. He was a 13th round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Two balls. And Verdugo no. goes in front. Two balls and no strikes. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Well, count the pitch. That's ball three. JD Martinez is on deck. Ready with the 3 0 pitch. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. him up. Olsen has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for the Red Sox. The left fielder. J.D. Now the J.D. Martinez. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. <laughs> They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now the 0 oh, 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Ladies Matt and Barnes enters from the pen please. to start the ninth inning now, as he'll please, try to keep Sox. the score right where it is Number heading 32. to the bottom of the ninth. Matt Barnes. The ninth in this one, and that will bring in the second, the second baseman, Vimael Mashi.
first delivery to him. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-0 -oh is laid off for ball two. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Now the 2-0. -oh. Nope. Barnes, a six-foot-four-inch right-hander, he was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. He's really struggled with his command in this Matt. game, no doubt Chapman. about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Ready to take his hacks again, Matt Chapman. Lasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Rounded to third. This could be two. Devers fields it cleanly. There's one on the first to complete the double play. Up next, nice job on the mound to the bounce back baseman. from the leadoff one. Yeah. Those are usually Olsen. pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Olsen. So he'll take a look ball at the pitch too play. low. It's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead if the side is retired. They just go quietly there. But they hold a 5 nothing lead. Your attention, please. Now, New pitcher coming on now, the right-hander, Yusmero Petit. Number 36, Yusmero Petit. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. And then what's gone wrong for this lineup Leading today? Off. They're only More three the outs away from being shut out. The third baseman. Well, you know, I just haven't Rafael. seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Never. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands All in this one. No balls and a strike to count. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. Ball in. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. And the 
this will be fouled away. The one and two pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out to a deep center field. And that is off the wall. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay throw. And he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. Oh, to me, that was right? just way too big Look of a risk. It. If you're leading Look off it. an inning and you've already got two That's bases good. easily, pull up and pat yourself on the back. You're already in the scoring position, but now they've got nothing to show for the leadoff extra base hit. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. Oh. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Petit, a six foot one inch right hander. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out hey. past one or two years for this player. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Here it comes. Now a fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. The right fielder, number 10, Hunter Renfro. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0 is up and away, but called a strike. Vasquez, base runner at first with one out. And it's fouled away. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jordan is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, first baseman. Michael. Next to hit is Michael Chavis. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball, As the first out. pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind Ball's and creating out. traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The 2 0 on the way. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Fouled away. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure's off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 5-0 finish tonight. The A's took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. 
Sean Manaya earns the win his second. Eduardo Rodriguez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.